another quick one today. Uh, basically, this car's been recovered in. It's got a hole in the pipe. It's pretty common to see splits on this hose there. Um, I mean, look, the youngest one of these cars is 10 years old. It's going to be 11 years old as of January. You know, the, the oldest one's 2006, so they're getting on in age. It's just a kind of normal maintenance thing. Uh, although this hose, I call the expansion tank hose A because it's got the funny green clip at the end. It goes to the back of the cylinder head there. Um, lots of people call us trying to get that clip up. This bit's the easy bit. It's that clip. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to change it on this one, but so that you can see it easily, I'm going to put the hose on and off on a spare engine so you can just see the easy way of disconnecting that thing. If you're ever in a pickle and you know you need to get home, if you've got some of that uh, repair tape, like I've got some on the shelf, you can get Bunnings, car shops, stuff like that. Tape it. This is the super cheap auto version. Uh, another brand called Tommy Tape. It's basically a self-fusing silicon tape. That's what he's used on this just to get the car home. Well, to us, actually. So, yeah. I'll show you how to do it. Right, so other than tools that you're going to need to take off your intake pipe, which is going to depend on whether you've got factory one, aftermarket one, etc., etc., you need two kind of special tools. So some 45 degree pliers, make your life 10 times easier, and a seal pick. So if you look at the, the clamps, they've got a tang here with a hole, and then they've got a, a tang there. So when you squeeze this together, that sits inside the hole and doesn't spring back and then it's locked. So you just take your pliers, stick it to the side of it like that. There you go, done. Now, these do have a bit of a habit of springing out. Don't get your finger caught underneath it. Hold it on the outside. It does, it's not going to break your finger, but trust me, it smarts. Um, now that the seal pick is, to break a seal, you can rotate it, right? But I see a lot of people, they just try and pull on it and they end up snapping the end bit off. So I find it's best just to seal pick in, work its way around, and that'll just break the seal a bit. And it just makes your life 10 times easier. Hey, slides off, no bit snapped. Then you just want to unclip it all the way along here. Obviously that bit was clipped in there originally. Unclip it. All right, now at this point, that's when you're gonna be taking your intake off. Um, if you've got a factory airbox, it's probably gonna be easier to pull your airbox out. You can watch our other YouTube video on doing that. And, um, but I'm gonna show you how to do this connection on an engine instead, because it'll be easier for you to all see. All right, so now we've got all of that out of the way, you can see there's two tangs on the connector or if I'll show you on the new one. Now, the idea of this design is that you push it in, squeeze the tabs together, and then it releases and you pull it off. It's a little bit tricky to do down there with your fingers because the space, so that's why you use the pliers. So you basically use pliers to squeeze, or push in, squeeze, pull back, but I'll show you fitting uh, this new one onto a, an engine so you can see everything without all the other crap in the way. All right, so like I was saying before, you gotta squeeze these two tabs in, but if the hose is pulled all the way out like this and you squeeze the two tabs, it doesn't release. You've gotta push it forwards so you get that gap bit there, then squeeze your two tabs in, and then it just pops off. So if you see the inside bit there, so that's why when you're squeezing your two tabs, it makes all the difference. But if this is pushed all the way on, it doesn't release. Now, this is a new hose that I'm using just to show you, but when it's an old one, they get really, really stiff, so that's why it's hard using your fingers. That's why I find it better to just use the pliers. So we're gonna push it forward, squeeze the two tabs in, give it a bit of a wiggle, and off she pops. And then obviously, to fit the new one in, literally just switch it in. Ignore the cracking sounds in the background, SR Workshop dog annihilating a block of wood. So don't worry about the sound. Right, so now we've got the new hose in there. It's all clipped in all the way along down here. The spring clamp, it's lovely. They super glue it. So you can just basically lift that tang off. I don't like to use my fingers because I've caught them a few times. It kind of hurts. Just grab that tang and 
give it a lift like that. There you go. If you want to make it look a bit neater, then you can obviously move it all the way around, or you can just leave it just like that. Perfect.